morning debutantes. Who is ready for day three of purgatory? I am back in my kitchen. Um, I'll probably finish out at least maybe this week. Well, I'm going to at least finish up the kitchen. I don't know how long it's going to take me. But um, today we're going to do the um, cooking utensil drawers. I only have one, two, three, four, five drawers in my whole kitchen. And I would say at least two of them are not extremely efficient. Um, I, n none of my drawers will fit a standard silverware tray, so I have to be creative with my silverware storage. So I have just been kind of throwing my ki kitchen utensils into the drawers and they kind of look like a hot mess. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the before of the drawers I'm working on. Now normally I would not have purchased um, storage containers before I went through and saw what I had but I wanted to be able to finish this video today and get it posted. So I did go to Target, but all of their storage systems were too expensive. So I ended up at the Dollar Tree and I got three of these little gray, kind of rectangular, wider containers. I think I got six kind of silverware, you know, long silverware type of things. And then these clear, also skinny, but a little bit bigger than the white ones. So I did get those at Dollar Tree. I did ask them what their return policy was and they said I could exchange with a receipt. So I definitely saved my receipt in case I don't end up using these things. So the first drawer I'm going to clean out is this drawer that happens to be right next to my stove. Um, there is this little organizer in here but I do not think it is super efficient. I do have some things in here I probably no longer use. So I'm going to clean that drawer out and then we're gonna move over to the right of my stove. And this is kind of my baking drawer. So I just kind of need to find some type of system where this stuff will fit and not be all over the place. And then this drawer, I don't know if there's any hope for this drawer at all. This has got cords and this is kind of my junk drawer of kitchen utensils. I have a junk drawer for pens and all that other stuff, but this is kind of stuff I don't use that often and they just kind of get thrown in this drawer. So these are the three drawers that I will be working on. So I'm going to do one drawer at a time. I'm gonna take everything out of the drawer, put like things with like, clean the drawer, and then obviously see what I wanna keep, what I don't wanna keep, and then put everything back and see what type of system I can use. So I have emptied the first drawer, I've cleaned out all the crumbs, and sprayed it with some cleaner and wiped it down. Of course, um, my helper is back this morning. Yes, Bella, thank you so much for your input. So I have emptied the drawer, and I tried to put kind of like things with like, um, but some stuff doesn't have, like, really? What's this? I think this is a zester. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I have some things in this drawer that were my grandmother's, like um, when my grandmother passed away we cleaned her house out I picked up these two things because I didn't have pretty servers um, they're not precious or anything they just look better than plastic um, this knife was hers so she you know, has her name on it she must have brought it to uh, church things and she fashioned a toilet paper roll to keep it stored in um, so this is not something I would probably get rid of but I don't know um, if I should store it somewhere, or maybe do something decorative with it, but it is a ginormous, look, okay, there's my microwave, and that's how big the blade is. So, it's a big old knife. And then I have this knife still in its original wrapping, Quick Cut Incorporated Stainless USA, and it tells me on the back that it will even cut a tree. So, obviously it's a pretty good knife. So those are things I, I um, got from my grandmother's house. And then, you know, I have some duplicates, orange peelers, um, my offset cake decorating spatula I think went into the garage for spackle. I'm constantly finding things have disappeared and then I find them at my husband's shop. Um, here's all my serving spoons. I mean, just a bunch of stuff, you know, that you use but not all the time. The plastic serving spoons are probably put with the paper plates and whatnot. They do not need to go back in the drawer. And then these are things I'm getting rid of. The corn cob holders, we have never used those. If we have, I think we used them one time. I had Dairy Queen spoons in my drawer. Somebody has a uh, sweet tooth for blizzards in my house. I won't tell you who that is, but I'm sure you can guess. This um, 
pounder or tenderizer. When you pick it up, black stuff comes off on your hands, and yeah, I'm getting rid of that. This vegetable peeler has never worked well. I have this whole stack of magnets. What I'll do with the magnets, I'll probably put them in a Ziploc bag and just put a price magnets, 50 cents. And then I had a couple lighters. This one, it works, but it's kind of old and I don't like it, so I might just throw that one away. And then this is the, there goes the ice. This is my disgusting insert. So I have to wash this and then see if I'm gonna use this or some of my new items. So drawer number one is halfway there. So I finished the first drawer and I tried every configuration of using those items and it just did not seem to work. So I had to use the old silverware liner that I had. And actually the piece that's in the other drawer is supposed to lock in here and slide out, but obviously there's not enough room. So it doesn't look a whole lot different. It is nice and clean. Um, I did get rid of a few things, but the, my drawers just are not very efficient. So I, like there's no way to slide a piece across the top I've seen in some people's drawers. So I can see pretty much everything. The things on this side don't get used that often, except the lighter. I use that to light my candles all the time. I have my knife sharpener, my cake decorator, the salad spoons that we only break out for holidays because we just grab with our hands in the house. You know, they're clean. Um, these obviously were too long, but they're fine. And the things that I use most frequently are easily to grab and on top. So, and then these just move out of the way for those types of things. So not a big change, but it's clean and it looks a little bit more organized. So now I'm going to move on to the baking drawer. Okay. So the second and third drawers are complete. Here is my completed baking drawer. I was able to use the three little gray black things and actually I found these little organizers in the office section of the dollar store. So in the way back I have my obscure baking items. I have a pastry cutter, a pastry mixer, and a scraper. I don't use those very frequently so they can go to the back. Then I have one set of measuring cups and spoons and actually I'm missing one cup because I think that went out to the shop. It was donated to mechanical stuff. Um, and then I have my can opener. And then another set of measuring cups and spoons in that one. Then I have my big cookie scoops along here and my candy thermometer that I've never used, but I did cut out the little things that tells you the temperature for different things just so I would have it, it's in there. So that is the baking drawer, it's all clean. I gave it a good scrub, everything looks nice. Then over here to this little crazy catch-all junk drawer, I was able to use the silverware tray from the baking drawer in this drawer. And you can see things are still kind of shoved in here because they're odd shaped items. I mean, a hamburger press, a sandwich cutter and sealer, which I probably won't need till I have grandchildren. I have my potato ricer discs. I mean, it's just stuff that doesn't normally fit in little sections. I have my, fry, my fried egg um, molds, my turkey lifters, which I only use every so often. I have this little hand pie thing, and this was actually in a box, which took up a lot of room. So I just cut the instructions out, put them inside, and just stacked them on there. I'm always happy if the drawer closes and opens. So I take that as a win. Um, I was also able to do a little bit of work on, this is actually a warming drawer on my stove, but I have no place to put my pots and pans, so this is where they go. So I actually did get rid of one big fry, not fry, it's like a grill pan for the stove. And I just cleaned it out and reorganized my pots and pans and now everything fits perfectly in there. I have one more thing to show you. So this is actually my silverware drawer that happens to be by my sink. And I couldn't use the little white storage things in any of the drawers I was working on. So I came to see if they fit in my silverware drawer and they do, I'm so excited. I was watching um, my so-called Holmes vlog today and she opened her drawer to get a spoon and I saw that she had her spoons and forks set out like this so I copied her and they fit perfectly so I have my salad spoons and my dinner salad forks dinner forks I have my teaspoons and my tablespoons and then I have knives and then in the way way back are baby spoons from when my kids were little and I want to show you what I was using in there before because it's so hard to find anything to fit this space. And even these you can see buckle a little bit, but they all match. They fit nice and tight. These were the nasty things that I was using. 
none of them match. This one is broken. Those I got from my grandmother's house. This one is broken. I think this was in my first house from the 80s. But I couldn't find anything to fit this drawer. So I'm very happy it fits. I'm very happy I copied my so-called home silverware storage and my drawers are now complete. So these are the items that I'm actually getting rid of. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these little plastic things that I couldn't use or return them to the Dollar Tree. I have not decided. I'll probably wait until I'm done purging. And then of course I have my little pile of things that need to go elsewhere. I don't do that until I'm finished with the project because I do not want to get caught up in another project and not finish this one. So I hope you enjoyed today's purgatory video of my kitchen utensil drawer and my silverware drawer. I'm very excited that that got accomplished. And um, I don't know what I'm doing yet tomorrow. I'll have to uh, go through my house and see what needs the most attention. I'll probably stay in the kitchen, maybe do another cupboard. Um, I actually have a very small kitchen. Um, it's pretty to look at, but it's not super efficient. So I'm always trying to find new ways to make things work. So if you like this video, please thumbs it up. If you have not subscribed, please do. And leave me a comment if you are getting organized as well and if this series is helping to inspire you get ready for the holidays. So I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.